Hey there, it's Game Journeyman here coming at you with another video. And in this one, what I want to do is propose a question. And that one is, what is the statistical probability that all the alignments of numbers and dates were random? And I say it in past tense because I'm about to unravel the chart that I made and show you all the connections. At the end of the video, you can tell me if what I did was just random lines and random dates and random just randomness <laughs> let's dig into this so to start off you gotta scale your chart right 14 degree angle coming across nice trend line that's what I squared the chart up to so I locked it we're locked in uh, you probably want to end up making uh, some kind of note there for yourself just so you know whatever your scale was when you come back to this so let's continue on so after I had that I said well let's find this next trend line here and see what this peak looks like came in at 77 degrees not shocking 77 is 14 also uh, 77 is mirrors or their ones or activation lines so I said well let's draw a fib spiral from the, the point here to where this catches and we have a nice support spiral here it was resistance before and acted as resistance until it had broke through and flipped polarity and now we're looking to see if we're gonna find some support off of a bounce here as the chart progresses, this area is going to become very interesting, in my opinion. So as always, as you're beginning to build your chart, you have to measure. What is the top of that, that spiral there? Huh. Pi. Your first clue that you're on the right path. The more math constants that appear, you know your chart's on the right path. It's squared nicely. So... I said, well, let's draw another fib spiral here. Came from this top and came to this point here. Why this point? Just because I was using it as this being like a force field, right? So this energy from this move pushed into here and stopped. So it also made a nice little trend line there. We also have an intersection now down here. Look what that is. Look to the right. Negative 4314. Pi. <laughs> As above, so below. All right. I didn't even measure that one. I just saw that while we're, I'm shooting this video. So I said, well, let's see what this you know angle is here. And it came out with 151. Well, a 151 rounded. Okay. You know, Giza variant there, 152. But a 151, if you were to subtract that from, you know, 180, you would end up with 29. 2 plus 9 is 11. So it's also an activation coming into an activation. Also creating a vortex point at pi. I just I have to mark that now. It's driving me crazy. So I said, well, let's, what if I want to make this like a, a box, right? So I would change this, subtract 90. So if you take 151, subtract 90, you would end up with, you guessed it, phi 61. So as you are starting to notice now, we're coming up with a lot of different intersections. So we want to start measuring and looking at all these different intersections of where things are hitting why look at this this fib spiral here right it looks arbitrary but after this 14 and the top of this spiral look where it hits next fib spiral coming off the vortex this is where it it told me to put it i mean look it's just hugging touch points Kind of an interference there. Nice little Vesca Pisces. So then we have another connection point. 
We got connections up here. 280. Two, <laughs> 28186. Another 5 variant. Measured another angle. We had a 6 degree coming across. But we're finding vortex points here. So then I do the next fib spiral. And that one right here runs from here to here. Another intersection point is on 10 4. Soul. Also, we have intersections now popping up here with it. And it comes around and almost closes the gap there on that. Like I said, I like to keep those tight because I think of them as like force fields bumping into each other. So I measured the top of that, that new spiral right coming in, that intersection. Three, one, two, one, two. What's the significance of that? Look where it lands. Three, two, two. Three, two, two. Another angle coming off of this, intersecting that. We got another 77 degree angle. That intersection point is one, two, one, six, 21. Okay. What's that intersection point right there? One, two, one, six. Interesting. Are you starting to see the alignments? Next angle. Coming off from this point here, intersecting, I got a 49. Seven times seven, 49. Another connection there. And we're also now with each one of these lines that are these vectors coming out we're, we're having intersection points that we can go measure and look for correlations what's that intersection point did you see that eight six <laughs> phi or is it eight one two i think it's eight one two why look at price one eight two one you see it all right what's this next vertical line splitting this right here what we got ten four soul next fib spiral Coming off of this intersection here, coming into this force field, we stop. It comes around. We have another intersection point here. Interestingly, a 181, 182. I thought we had a 281 somewhere up here. We just looked at. Anyways, but it wraps around, cuts through this beautifully. Nice support there. Next ship spiral right here comes into it, catches this, and also catches this in the beginning of the move. So it's starting to look messy as hell, and we're not even done yet. There's a lot more mess to come. <laughs> come from this point here, this intersection, to this intersection, 14 degrees. Now we have this intersection, which aligned perfectly with that fib spiral. So measure from there, what do we get? 177. Okay. 7777. It's there. 
this high coming into this intersection here 11 degrees 1 1 on I'm gonna save that fib circle for last because it really starts to clutter up the chart this vertical line here 122 1122 see where this connects came in at 10104 what was that the center of the fib circle that fib circle was laid by the way from that intersection to that intersection Continuing on. Shooting an angle off from this intersection to this. Giza, 52. Shooting off from here, from this intersection point to this intersection point, 105. Which is 51. Round at 52, you get Giza. Or, if you want to connect this to this, you could also make that connection. From this angle here, coming off this intersection, 31 degrees, intersecting here, pi. This intersection point here comes across and hits this intersection point. Let's see. I even threw in a harmonic. Because <laughs> at this point, I'm looking at what's going to happen closer to our time frame, right? This intersection just has a lot of traffic going on. So in my opinion, I believe that this, this price action is going to pull towards this point. We're going to touch along this FIB spiral and it'll act as support, or it's going to break through temporarily or even wick to the original 14 degree trend line that was there. And then we get a bounce or recovery. That's my assessment of, of what this is saying. Also, 821 connects here with the 812 and the 1821 price. 1618, we got phi 272. That one took me a little while to connect. And then if you round that, it's 86 or 5. Measuring that intersection, pi. Where did this, where did this go? Ah, that's where I found the 272. On the date 227. Triple eights, forty-eight, eight, eight. That was my scale. And going back to our original question, what is the statistical probability that all of the alignments of numbers and dates are random? Yes, this chart looks like a mess. All of this to give me some some targets. Looking here, looking here, looking here. We'll see what happens. But going back to the question of is this random? No, it's not. It's all connected. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Maybe it shed some light 
on the craziness of this chart, but also how you can find those alignments as well. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video.